Welcome everybody. Jim Lee from ClimateViewer.com and Terraforming Inc. here with a global alert. This is a public service announcement. Write this down, inform everybody, your life may be in danger. This is the most important story of 2013. Get ready to hear a whole lot about geoengineering this year because this is the most important story you're going to hear. Now you may have heard about Obama and his agenda. Gun control, terrorism, gay rights, and climate change. Now climate change may make you scratch your head and you're saying to yourself, why would climate change be on there? Well, while you guys weren't paying attention, the scientists of the world have been coming up with this thing called geoengineering. And geoengineering is basically a scientific band-aid for all of the pollution that we've put into the atmosphere. They are basically claiming that the atmosphere is broken, that at any moment that the ice on the North Pole could melt away and that the methane gas, which is stored in ice beneath it, could rapidly be released into the atmosphere and kill us all, just like the dinosaurs. So um, we're in dire dire straits according to these people and they want to do things such as fly military planes up there to spray sulfuric acid into the stratosphere which is the uppermost parts of the the sky they want to coat the sky in sulfuric acid to reflect the sunlight away to cool the planet down and why would they want to do this because a volcano put a whole bunch of sulfur up into the atmosphere and the planet cooled significantly over a short period and they thought it was a great idea. They said, you know what, we can do this. Let's put our own chemicals up there. We can cool the planet. We can fix it all, you know, and weather control ensues. Well, here comes the emergency part. There is a group called the Arctic Methane Emergency Group right here their website is ameg.me a-m-e-g dot m-e the arctic methane emergency group is a group of scientists who have been studying uh, the arctic ice and methane and are you know basically blowing the whistle they're saying that at any moment 50 gigatons that's a lot I don't, I'm, I don't know exactly how much, but that sounds like a whole lot. Gigatons. So that's millions of tons, I imagine. Or billions of tons, excuse me. So 50 billion tons of methane could be rapidly released at any moment. And just for those who don't know what that would do, it has like 10 times the uh, heating factor of CO2. So when that methane were, were to be released, if you know what they say happens happens um the the weather would go insanely crazy um the, it would be the hottest temperatures ever on record and there would be massive massive storms um you know biblical stuff so pretty crazy stuff um here's the thing it gets a little crazy when you actually start to figure out why they're saying this so they, had, they quote this video, The Day the Oceans Boiled. It's by uh, National Geographic. And a guy did a core sample, and it shows where methane was rapidly released during the time of the dinosaurs, and that's what killed them, supposedly. I have not been able to research all that. Somebody please look into it. So they're saying now that, you know, like I said, that up to 50 gigatons could be released abruptly anytime soon. Here's the links. This is my article on Terraforming Incorporated. Dot com terraforming inc.com harp geoengineering with alchemy arctic methane global emergency uk government tells climate alarmists to chill out and the story goes on so here's where it gets really really crazy the the video they quote you know says it it could happen they're saying it could happen again um they release their strategic plan so i'm looking through this thing and it's pretty crazy stuff it was released uh December 4th, 2012, so right before Christmas, 
and they literally hear some of the stuff they say. For example, the regulation to ban bunker fuel for ships should be relaxed while encouraging continued use of bunker fuel where the resulting aerosol emissions might be beneficial. They're talking about ship tracks. So chemtrails from ship tracks, from ships crossing the ocean, they make these trails of clouds in the sky. They want to make them thicker to block more sun. That's called solar radiation management. It's what I was talking about when I said the sulfuric acid in the sky. They want to be able to block the sun. So they're saying put dirty fuel in the ships. That'll make dirtier tracks coming out of their um, exhaust, and that'll help with geoengineering, solar radiation management, which is called SRM. So here's another one. Establish the positive and negative net forcing from contrails and encourage flight paths of commercial airplanes to reduce positive or increase negative net forcing. And they're straight up saying what all everybody refers to as chemtrails, Let's, you know, go out there and encourage flight paths to be in uh, in specific areas so that we can do geoengineering with them. Um, just as a side note, I added this in. Here's a William Cotton at the American Meteorological Society speaking at a weather modification uh, convention saying how to seed, use commuter aircraft with jet fuels doped with aerosol generators, also use UAVs or blimps for aerosol dispersal. Some industry stacks could be also um, dope. So they're even talking about, you know, the, the tall smoke stacks you see at factories, putting crap in those to do geoengineering. So it's on, people. Um, back to the story. Here's some of the other crazy stuff. So, so their proposals also include... Prepare the supply and logistics for spraying aerosol precursor in large quantities, preferably in the lower stratosphere for development by March or April of this year, 2013. Prepare for large-scale deployment of TiO2 titanium oxide and other sulfate aerosols. Uh, do marine cloud brightening for a uh, view to development on a large scale by in spring 2013. That's the Silver Lining Project. That's Stephen Salter, John Latham, and a uh, company. They have uh, boats that spray uh, ocean water up into the clouds and brighten them. So they're, they're, they're saying fully fun, the Silver Lining guys. Good for them. Um, suitable chemicals needed to be identified, confirmed with stockpiling of these cloud seeding chemicals. Aircraft need to be kitted out to spray these chemicals. Dude, this is, it doesn't get any more real than this. This is what they're telling the governments to do right now. This freaked me out too. Considered techniques for unsticking blocked weather patterns. What? Okay, and any uh, anything that gets proposed needs to be free from financial interest. I find that ironic as we move on. So they, they said that following the launch of this strategic plan, they're going to send a message to all of the world leaders, and, and they did do that. Um, let's see, it's right here. Read our letter to the world leaders. So there's their letter, which says December 2011. Oddly enough... That's really weird. So let's just continue. Um, the UK government responded to them here. And you can read that. And it's at the House of Commons. And they basically tell them to chill out. <laughs> no pun intended. And then they have, uh, then AMEG comes back with their government response saying, you know, uh, this is BS. It's based on non existing observations. So the end or is it? Well, it turns out. Um, what they're not telling anybody is there was a 350 million uh, cubic foot methane leak from the North, um, North Sea uh, natural gas spill. So this thing is already spewing natural gas. I mean, is this possibly linked, you know, all the, the, ma the, the massive methane release they're talking about? Then there's the Angel's proposal, the, the Arctic natural gas and extraction liquefaction and sales these guys are talking about um literally like drilling under the the sheet to to turn the gas into a profit center you know literally let's let's relieve the abscess we'll just get rid of it and then there's the project lucy where they're talking about three radars focusing their beams on methane clouds and turning those methane clouds into diamond dust 
something formerly left to the science fiction world of alchemy. And I mean, literally, they say that, that methane and a diamond has the same molecular structure, and that if they hit them with three um, radar beams, that they can concentrate those beams and turn that methane that's up there in the atmosphere into diamonds. Does that sound like uh, James Bond? Have I heard this before? Well, anyway, that diamond dust that's going to be up there will do what? It's going to reflect sunlight away. That's geoengineering. That's solar radiation management. That's SRM. Starting to see the pattern here. Generating sunshine, reflecting noctilucent clouds in increasing amounts in the mesosphere, which will reflect the sun's energy back into space. Noctilucent clouds formed from the breakdown of methane in the circular zone above the HARP transmitter. What, what? And they say that if it works, there are four other similar facilities in the world high pass they said high pass closed back in 95 what what arecibo um Izcat, tromso that's that's got to be tromso and then sura russia so that's the four big guys i guess that they're saying where they could immediately attack the atmospheric methane as well so they're saying we could turn all of the harp you know facilities around the world on that's freaking amazing also. I mean, wow, we just had a whole bunch of revelations there, didn't we? Um, not to mention, he goes on to say that HARP is currently uh, 5.1 gigawatts. Like, no, nobody knew how strong it actually was currently. Uh, but he does, you know, confirm that. that, However, that it is a very powerful 5.1 gigawatt effective radial power at maximum output. Whoa. <laughs> So this is pretty crazy stuff, and here's Project Lucy. Here's them uh, using, uh, it's on, uh, it looks like buoys there, but they also mention mounting these radars on nuclear-powered submarines, on um, using the HARP facility, of course. And, uh, yeah, it's just, cr this is the craziest crap I ever heard. So they're also, um, here. here's the Angel's proposal. Check this thing out. This is where they're, they're actually showing you know, here's the methane that's going to leak out from under the ice. We could put drilling wells here and drill down and get the gas out and sell it off for a profit. Yeah, good stuff. So, um, this is all really overwhelming. I mean, you're talking about a climate emergency. Um, everybody could die like the dinosaurs. We need to sell the gas under the ice. Oh, by the way, we can use HARP and other radars to turn gas into freaking diamond dust. I mean, this is welcome to the future, people. Um, but by the way, you this may kill you. So um, please look into all this. And, uh, you know, I need as many people to, to research this as fast as possible because the, this group of scientists is literally saying, doesn't matter what you believe about chemtrails, they're saying, let's geoengineer right the F now. Right now, by March of 2013. That ain't far away, ladies and gentlemen. So either the North Pole is going to blow up with methane or they're going to geoengineer the skies. Pick your pill. Enjoy.